Now then, guys, welcome to a very different episode of the Boxing Breakdown. <laughs> And I can't believe it. As you can see, I'm going to Anthony Joshua vs. Usek in the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. I'm on an... oh, I can't believe it, honestly. So, I wasn't planning to do this, but Connor said that I should take you along with us and get clips. It was an absolute nightmare getting tickets. I don't even want to go into it. It was, it was hard. They sold out and then there was like four left. I got them in my basket. And then as we were checking out, putting our bank details and whatnot, they sold and I was fuming, I was gutted. Anyway, somehow on the website there's still some left later on, I couldn't believe it. I'm going in a 60 quid seat, I think it is tomorrow. Um, we just got what we could get left and I can't wait. I don't know if the view will be any good, but if, if I don't even know if the event be good, but if it isn't, we know not to go again, but I've got high hopes. The atmosphere for AJ fights is unbelievable. I'm going to the Bolivar's wedding footy game first, so um yeah, so we'll be getting the we'll be getting the train up to London at about five thirty tomorrow morning, something like that, something mental. And then from there we'll be going to King's Cross Station, London, we'll be getting full English, love it. And then we'll go obviously back to Reading, watch the match, and then we'll have to go from there to our hotel, which is in I think Hackney, you don't know London well. And then from there to Tottenham Stadium. So yeah, hopefully we can get there for all the undercards, or at least like six, I think, when the TV undercards start, is when we'll aim to get there for. But if if I miss one, I miss one, I apologise. But yeah, it is what it is. And I can't wait, honestly. There's some good fighters on. There's a Corley, Campbell Atten, um, Marco, Callum Smith, obviously AJ, Uzek. It's going to be an unbelievable night and my first ever boxing event. I'm taking you with us. If you do enjoy, like, comment, share, all that stuff. And yeah, let's go. Come on, AJ. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Campbell on points. Come on! Now the first shock of the night came when Campbell Hatton controversially won via six rounds to continue his unbeaten life as a professional boxer. Next up is Lawrence O'Corley, who's looking to keep unbeaten and defend his world championship. So, a call he certainly didn't disappoint, winning via an early knockout to defend his world championships. A 
couldn't even believe how I found myself here, if I'm honest. Joshua Usyk for the World Heavyweight Championship. I'm up and down to the toilet every two minutes. I couldn't believe that I was here watching it, witnessing it. Well, yeah, I don't know what you thought of that, but 
Are you shocked? I am actually, yeah, to be fair. I wouldn't say I'm shocked, but I'd say I'm a little bit surprised, but I could see it happening. Mm. Exactly that, but it's we're starting it it's almost like people expected it because I thought there'd be a bit more of a big thing about AJ losing, but it's kind of like People knew it was coming almost, you could say. Yeah, because obviously the shock after the Ruiz fight, but it was Ruiz knocked him out. Ruiz did nothing else better than him. But mm. Usyk brought it to him and outboxed him. And well, honestly, it was one of the best heavyweight boxing performances I have personally ever seen. I think AJ was poo on the night, but... He was, but Usyk was punch perfect and head movement was bang on. Yeah, I was actually shocked. I thought AJ's head movement was has him got a lot better, but... It's oh, and you still it. see he's got no chin. Not to use it quality, I mean. I was shocked about how aggressive Usyk was. Yeah. Uh, I thought he'd be... I thought he'd do similar to what he'd done, but at times we've seen Usyk take centre. Yeah, like Bellew. Ring and he was back. he was backing AJ up, and I was a bit shocked, to be honest. I was really impressed, though. 100%. I think... He's put himself up there now. Is in my in the he's definitely top top heavyweight now, isn't he? Oh, hundred percent. But I think the only person he can't beat Fury because I think Fury actually is too big for him and is also a boxer. Exactly. But I, I do think he could cause Tyson some, some problems. problems. Yeah. What's the crack with the Fury AJ? Because we once made a pod saying Fury AJ <laughs> is happening. I mean, people are saying they're disappointed. We're not going to see it. To be honest, I'm not. We're not missing out. Ages, ages, has now shown that he is not to the level of Tyson. And but I did want to see um, AJ get beat and prove that Tyson is better. Same, but I think Usyk's almost done that for Tyson. Yeah, good point. Um, but yeah, um, other fights on the night. Um, Campbell Hatton was. Was beaten. My, I don't care what anyone says. He, he was beaten. He was lucky. He was lucky. There's no. There's lucky. Then there's just complete robbery. The other lad yeah. won five one. The that's a max I'd give Hatton one round. It yeah. Um. I don't know. Well, it it's his name. If he weren't, if he weren't Hatton. If that was a white would, collar boxing event if, or if one of them Joe, like little events, he would have lost. If he was Joe Bloggs, he'd have lost. If he was anybody. Anybody. Um, if he was anybody who didn't have a hat nor ex professional boxer surname, he would not be undefeated anymore. And he was shocking. Yeah, it was. It was a bit. I don't know. To start. It was a bit disappointing to be honest, because he's not having a. He had a he had a poor debut, you could say, at him, but he thought he'd pick up over time, and he was getting better and better as he as he went on. But last time out, he was just. He had a bit of a stinker. To be it honest, was like he'd it? take two steps forward, he'd take four steps back. Exactly that. Um, I wouldn't say Hatton's not going to get far, but he's not shown us anything to show that he can get far. If you yeah, know. exactly. But yeah, anyway, um, it's something different on the channel. This has been, but and like, also, two, can we talk about what two more fights and then we'll yeah. call this out round. Uh. Callum Smith was an absolute beauty knockout. Oh, that was a punch perfect performance from Callum Smith. Yeah, I know. He, he'll do well at light heavyweight, I think. Yeah, I do. And also, Lawrence Acoli, the bloke I've been banging on about to you, done it again. He's, he, he's shown himself, Fanny. He? He's going to do what Usyk does, I'm telling you. He's going to unify that division, then come and uh, get a belt up with heavy. Yeah. He's so good. Oh, he is unbelievable, isn't he? He's so awkward. Yeah, but it just works for him. Yeah, but then the only thing you could say about a Coley is could he be as awkward if he moved up the division fighting taller people? Yeah, I can see where he comes from because he's 6'5 at Cruiser. Exactly. But, like we say, God, like we say, thanks. Yeah, this. thank you all for watching this. This has been a completely different experience. Also, Joe, what was it actually like? Was it mental? It was. The I've, ex- I've noticed and experienced good atmosphere at the footy and whatnot, but I have never known anything like that. 
M- mental. Unbelievable. Um, yeah. Once in a lifetime experience, do you think? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, Class. for a fight of that mag- magnitude, certainly. Yeah, and get tickets. Yeah, definitely. But what was the trek down like? It was, it was actually quite good to be found. Was it? On the train, yeah. That's good, though. But the fun's everywhere. But was yeah, it? Yeah, on the clips, a lot of the audio cut off, but we've done what we've can to make it. Yeah, do you, honestly, all goes out to you. I've literally done nothing for this, except jumped on here quickly. So thank you, Joe. All right, everybody. Yeah. Thank you all for watching. Cheers from me and Joe. See Bye. you on the next one.